Welcome to the Impactors Podcast. I'm Corey Carter. And I'm Ron Cool. And we are the owners and founders of Hindsight Hacking Media Agency, Podcasts, Funnels, Graphics, and more. Head on over to GetHHM.com to learn more. Guys, we created this podcast to help you go create an impact today. Not tomorrow, not yesterday, today. We're taking all the fluff, all the BS out, so you can go create an impact. And today's topic is why it's important to find your who. And we're going to tell you a little bit about our journey. That's right, Ron. This is, this is always a fun, fun conversation because I remember when we started down this journey, we had no idea what we were going to offer. We had no idea who we were going to offer it to. We just knew we could solve a lot of problems, right? And we knew we could make things work. But we had no idea. So, and even the podcast, even we had no idea who we were going to talk to on the podcast, right? Like all of it. I didn't no even idea. know what a podcast was. Like, let's just call it out, man. Right, right. So, I was like, hey, right, so we're going to have a TV show. We're good. <laughs> yeah, TV show, radio show. We're good. Okay. Right. So, finding your who, why is it important, Ron? Let's start with that exact question. Let's hit that one right mm. out of the park here. I think it's clarity. Like overall, it's it's clarity. So if we're, I guess, for our story, right, and finding our exact who, we wanted to do something, didn't know how to do said something, right? So we've always said, hey, let's surround ourselves with people that can do things better than us, learn from them, learn from them, learn from them. Uh, it, we wanted to shrink the learning curve as quick as possible. So we're going to find someone that has done it successfully, helped other people do it successfully, learn how to be successful at it. And that's just how I work faster, better go. Let's go. Right. Um, I, I didn't want to spend all the time trying to figure out all the stuff. I right. wanted to find someone that knew how to do it and learn how to do it. Yeah. I mean, finding your who that you want to serve too. Like right. the, the basis of any podcast, when I, I just remember the times that we started having these conversations, like, you know, we should have a podcast or we should have a show. We should go live on Facebook. We should do X. Right. But I don't, I never felt like we actually were able to make any traction with it or any real progress with anything because we didn't understand who we were talking to. Right. Right. Yeah, if you don't, and that goes back to that clarity piece, Corey. If you don't, if you don't understand who you're talking to, then you're talking to nobody. Yeah. And I didn't understand that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that, you know, last piece on on the journey on this to to basically lead into the journey uh, is there is so many pieces of the who, and that's really what we're going to get into this week of. Uh, all the different aspects of a who, because it's not just go who can do this for me, right? As we've already just started talking about, it's who are we talking to on a podcast? Who are we talking to on a web page, right? Like yeah. all that stuff, it's so important to understand who you're talking to. So uh, I'd love to move into the, the journey aspect, right? Like we've already alluded to how we knew nothing, Right. And, uh, and it wasn't until we had the clarity and knew who we were talking to and knew what we were offering, uh, that, that we really started to gain some traction in this world. And so, uh, I'd, I'd go ahead, love for you to just talk about a little bit of the, I think the first time that we talked about why would I niche down and yeah. eliminate that group of people? Yeah. Well, and this is, this is not something that we just worked on for a day, right? This was almost years in the making of that conversation. And, you know, in my mind, I was like, gosh, if we niche down, we're going to not be able to help more people, right? And it was kind of going, it was kind of going. The second we sat down and said, here's what we want to do. Here's who we want to help. This is how we can help them. Our business took off. Yeah. Our business took off. Right. And that was something that if I would have known a couple of years prior in our conversation. Like I remember sitting at Einstein's bagel before we were online, we were doing in-person stuff. Right. 
having this, it like we had a who that was asking us these questions. Yeah. And I remember she said, you have to be so niche down. Like you have to give your person a name. What's the age? What are they doing? Uh, and I told you, no, there's no way I would do that. Why would I try to only talk one person? Why would I only focus everything I'm doing for one person? But I'm telling you, you talk to that one person, one, you're going to attract that person, but you're going to start attracting people that are really close to that person. There's a lot of persons in the world, a lot of persons. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It, when you have an abundance mindset, you, you take that leap of faith, right? Like you pick the person that you serve, that one person. Mm-hmm. And like you said, there's a lot of that one person around. And, and then all the people that are so close to that just start like being attracted to whatever you're serving, whatever problem you're solving, right? And so, you know, it's, it's just, it's so crazy. You know, if you talk to any online entrepreneurs or really like a dentist, let's just say, I mean, a dentist has a list of people that they want to serve within a certain zip code, right? If for in-person or a grocery store, right? Like, whether it be a, a dollar discount type place or, you know, a, a Costco, right? Like they're serving different people. They know who they want to, to serve in, in person. And it, but it's the same thing online for all of us online on, you know, entrepreneurs. And for, for you and I, Ron, I want to bring it to our agency. We open the agency serving everyone. We right. open the agency having a ton of different things that you and I personally would do. Right. From editing to ads to funnels to all the all the above stuff. But right. then we niched it down to just really focus on podcasting. Yep. From helping people launch, hit the charts, monetize, helping people uh, relaunch, helping people actually go and uh, and just increase their downloads, all the stuff in between, right? Everything from yep. We really figured out that's that was our, our fun area, so to speak, right. and doing everything there. But then we had to go a step further because we kept getting clients that did not match with our ideals, that did not 100%. match. Right? 100%. And because we didn't understand who we were serving, we understand we understood we wanted to help people in podcasts. But then part of that journey is we even figured out, like, oh, okay, there's a certain type of people still that. We had there's a who we don't want to serve. I love that. That's the best way to put it. Exactly. Exactly. And so go ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say to, to finish my thought on that before I let you go was and from once the moment we made that decision of who we want to serve. I was I was exactly going to say it. Sorry. Okay. So like the, those people never came back to us. We never right. and and, and we never put that out in the world. It was just a conversation you and I had. Yeah. Which then put it out in the world in a different way. Right. Right. And which I'm sure we'll talk about that later in the week, but uh, it, it's crazy when you follow what's successful. Everyone told us to do it. Everyone told us to do it. And we have a client who her, who is awe inspiring. Like I visually see her who by reading her who that she is trying to serve. I visually have a mental image of what that person now looks like. Right. That's how detailed she is. And she is uber, uber successful, $10 million plus like uber successful. And she's talking to one person and yeah. she's impacting thousands. Yeah. I mean, it's probably in the hundreds of thousands. Oh, easy. Not, yeah, hun- easy hundreds of thousands. If not million. Yeah. Be- yeah. Of people. Because yeah. she is so, she f- knows her who. Yeah. So deep. All day long. All day long. So, all right. So now to end this, this one, we're going to talk about finding your who all week. Talk about why it's important. I mean, even on a low scale, you can go from making $100 a week randomly to being consistent once you figure out who you're, you're selling to, who, what you're offering to that who. And, right. and then, or you can be like our client that is making tens of millions of dollars by, because they know exactly what, and who they talk to. Uh, and, and Ron and I, we stumbled. We didn't believe. We didn't follow. We didn't listen. Uh, but the moment we were like, the moment the light bulb turned on, 
we we actually started having the success that we wanted and needed. Absolutely. Absolutely. I couldn't have said it better myself. And you brought up the point I was going to bring up. So perfect. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Guys, no fluff, no BS, just impact. Go make some. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. If you want to learn more, head on over to impactorsmastermind.com. We have a special group waiting just for you. Guys, why are you still listening to this? Get off your phone. Go create an impact today.